What is up, people, and welcome back. So, we've had a bit of a clean up. We are tidying up. So, I thought I'd show you what I've done on this little Fiesta, steering column wise. So, I'll show you what originally they come with, which is quite bizarre, and then what I've come up with. So, a steering column on a Mark II Fezzi. You've got this section here which goes into whatever this thing is for. I think it's probably to the steering lock, actually. Let me zoom out. And then here sits like a spring and a bush. It's down here, you've got this little for, this little swan neck. And would you believe this just pushes into the bottom of there? All right? So that is just, that just pushes off. I pushed it on. That was it by magic. So that comes off the steering rack and then this just hooks in and is held in by the spring at that end so it's very vague as in it can move in these bushes these things have so much play and then this i've got another section which goes through the bulkhead ends up being about that long and screw and bolts to the steering rack so what i did is hack that off first to see the idea of this tube and it's really thick wall yeah so then I cut it to length by putting the stub on the rack seeing how far it stuck out and chopped it off basically so I could then bore that out on the mill on the, the lathe to our 15 mil dimension that we need that is just under 15 mil and I'll show you why. So I'll take it around this side. So this is what I've come up with. Now it's a bit big. So we've got a nice snap off boss. This is actually not too bad. It's quite a decent boss for about 160 quid. It's not too bad. So if you look down here. Uh, let me zoom in bush here. You can see where that comes through the box, through the floor. So that first silver inch is the original, and then we have a spline section that's pressed inside. You can just about see where we pinned it and then ticked it round. Then that transfers to a UJ because originally these racks come off at like a, quite a, a severe angle, right? So the steering wheel is actually at an angle when it's in your hands. So what we've done is put UJs in to get a position into where we want it to be. We then have two sever spherical caged bearings. And this is the same again. So you've got a shaft here which is, I think it's 330 millimeters long, off the shelf uncut, two UJs. Then this is shaft. This is the rest of the one that we cut off to put inside the rack, stub end. So then we've got this, this is the steering wheel boss, which we bored out to match the OD of this, then pinned it, tigged it all up, and then we built a frame. So we've got CDS tubing. Oh, CDS tube, CDS, CDS. What we did these for is, because this is a bolting cage, pretty rudimental. We plated the bulkhead and then inserted these two at a slight angle, just to add that a little bit more strength to what is quite a weak cage. So now that, is helping hold the rest of the cage where it should be. That's why we put these in. We then have a little D-ring, which holds the plate for the bearings. And because these are so close together, there is no play in this at all. There's, there's no play in the rack, because it's got a custom rack in it. And there is literally no left to right or up and down movements. This now is so positive, it's unbelievable. So that's what I come up with. So you've probably got, I think these bars are about 35 quid each. So you've got a couple of them. 
Uh, I think the spherical bearings, these were about six quid each off eBay. You've got two of these. I think these were about 20 quid each, the UJs. The Boss was like 160 quid, and you've probably got 80 quid worth of tube in there. That's it. That's how simple it is. Well, I say simple. It's simple when you've got a lathe, a tube notcher, a welder, the grinder, and a bender. I suppose it's not that simple then, but it, you could make this out of two straight sections. You know what I mean? It could just come to a point. So that is the Fiesta steering column. And with the wheel on, we are now dead central to seat. And it's square to the car. Yeah? So now he's over the moon. So there's just some paint to do, some wiring to do, some bits and bobs that not really my forte and then it's about it there's not much more he wants doing for now yeah right so i thought i'd just show you how we got on with the column in the mark ii fiesta that's what we've come up with and to be honest i think it worked out really well really well nice simple job took us like hours of two of us me and michael came up so you know at a garage you're probably looking at 400 quid in parts 350 400 quid in parts including tube and if you just take this to a garage you could probably charge you like 500 quid in labor because of the hours so yes it's going to cost you eight nine hundred quid but you can have a much better positive um, steering and steering is key key the faster you can go around the track it's amazing to explain it you can have all the power in the world but if you can't control the power what's the point handling should be priority over power so you'll be handling you lower your lap times it's simple simple right and that's about it on the old fiesta that was all we had to do not a lot of work at all and i think that's about it in this video it's just a little update on what we did how we did it the parts we used came from the bearings were i think bearing supplies off ebay uh the column in uj's came from custom car builder website Custom car build, I think. I'll put it in underneath where the actual place was. And if you can just phone them up and they can sort your loads of stuff out. But yeah, I hope you like this little booster of video. Little column. Jobs are good. Right. See you later, people. Hello.